It's happening. It's happening. Hey, what's going on Glove Flip Nation? So today we're gonna be starting something I've wanted to do for a long, long time. Now baseball's been a part of my life since the day I was born. With my old man playing in the Tigers organization, me getting drug around to the national championships and Team Canada events as a kid, I always thought I would get to visit every stadium. Now when I thought visit every stadium, I thought as a player. But once my college ball career had ended, I realized it was probably going to be watching from the stands, which somewhat put my dream on hold. With that said, I began coaching, started the YouTube channel, and got my glove lace piece going. And this really sparked my passion in baseball again. Now, while coaching, I've had the pleasure to work with, I'm just going to call him the most interesting man in the world, named Dave. Any of our local guys watching will know exactly who I'm talking about. But he recently completed his journey on visiting every current MLB field a couple of months ago, which inspired me to start a journey of my own to visit every MLB field while documenting it along the way. I've actually visited a good amount of the fields, but I've never documented it or really had anything to show for it. So today, we're gonna start this off fresh from a place close to my baseball heart, home of the Detroit Tigers. America Park. I've been visiting this park since the year it opened in the year 2000 and it continues to be one of my favorite fields to visit in the league. Alright, so this is going to be the start of our 30 baseball parks that we're going to be going to. Maybe more. We're going to go to every baseball park in the MLB. Are you ready? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> now, earlier in the year, me and Ash visited Comerica, where she witnessed a small child wearing two tiger paws. The kid was experiencing pure bliss. So, since that moment, Ash has wanted to go back to, of course, watch a game, but also get herself a paw claw. Shouldn't have allowed this claw to happen. Look at this. <laughs> It's non-stop, non-stop all day. Now, it was actually a pretty sweet game to be at because they were honoring the Negro League team, the Detroit Stars, and had some pretty slick jerseys. So I also might throw in some random field facts or history into these videos. Like, you can actually visit the site of Old Tiger Stadium. It opened in 1912 and was the home of the Tigers until the year 2000. Then, the stadium just sat there until 2009 when it was eventually demolished. The lot remained a bare playing field until 2018 when a local youth organization named PAL, P-A-L, or the Police Athletic League, built a brand new turf stadium called the Corner Ballpark. What for the day? Uh, hug paws, with or without his consent. <laughs> <laughs> with the paw? Uh, yeah. Paw, paw to paw. Uh, Wow. <laughs> Comerica is actually a pretty entertaining place to walk around. They have historical pieces everywhere, a ferris wheel, plenty of bar areas, a great view of Detroit, and my favorite, Big Cat Court, or Big Cat Court, which is the food court, but I seriously only go for specialty dogs. So I honestly have no clue what else is there other than Little Caesars since Detroit is the home of it. Those are all retired paws, uh, cremated into the merry-go-round. <laughs> all of those right there are paws. They were real paws. Real paws. Real they got old or had career-ending injuries. What? Paws John. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Ash were talking all day about how she was going to get a picture with the mascot paws. She had the paw claw, she had a homemade shirt with the saying, catch these paws ready to go. The only problem was we hadn't seen paws all game. All hope was almost lost until our good friend Brett spotted paws only a section away from us. It's happening. It's happening. Get out of the week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to ruin some kids' dreams. <laughs> he almost tripped. Our You're excited back. now. Gotta be aggressive. Yeah, I don't want. Yeah. Right I don't want to snuggle. Like, yeah. This is the best. 
This is good. Perfect. <laughs> Paul's getting number one rating for the mascot. It's 100%. Huge shout out to Brett for always making our time in Detroit great. Brett works for the Tigers and also owns a sock company called The State Mate. Go check him out if uh, that's something you're interested in. Link will be down below. You almost cried? I'm like, I'm, I'm paws sweating. Knees weak, paws are sweaty. Did you see the shirt? Uh, I don't know if you can see out of that thing, but I'm going to imagine he did for my own purposes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh. Paw claw. Paw claw. Well, there wasn't too much to say about the game. The Tigers sadly lost again, cementing themselves even further into last place in the MLB. I know you guys talk about the Orioles being in dead last, but you know what? They're not doing as bad as the Tigers. We got bent over so hard I need hip replacement. <laughs> With that said, it's always a great time in Detroit and it'll be our most visited ballpark along this journey for sure, with it being under two hours from our house. One thing we want to do along the way is to connect with you, the baseball fan, the player, business owner, to hear your stories about the game you love and bring this ever-growing baseball community closer together. All right, guys, let us know down below what your favorite MLB field is. So at the beginning of September, I think September 5th to the 11th, we're actually gonna be heading down to Oakland and San Francisco to walk, go watch a couple games. So if you live in that area, please let us know and we will try to meet up at either an Oakland game or a San Francisco game. So later this month, we have a couple more possibilities. We could either be going to Cleveland, Pittsburgh, Toronto, another Detroit game. Those are kind of all the fields that are within a reasonable dist distance to go just for one day. You know what, if you like this video, please give it a huge like, subscribe, and Glove Flip Nation, I'll see you in the next video. Here you go.